Hey guys, our mini message for today is uh, starting in Genesis 31. So we know Jacob is getting rich and Laban is not. And this is God. God is uh, having some judgment on Laban and some blessing on Jacob. Because remember, Laban has used and abused Jacob now for 14 years and has grown wealthy because of Jacob. You know, much. this reminds me a lot of Joseph. Laban was blessed because of Jacob. And then, you know, everybody that Joseph runs across will be blessed because of him. The, when he was uh, the, the slave servant, uh, when he was in prison, when he served Pharaoh, everybody was blessed because of Joseph. There's a little bit of that here too. And it's not that, you know, Jacob or Joseph, either one were, you know, the most intelligent guys on the planet Earth and just figured everything out. It was, it was God. You know, God used them and God blessed. And so now Laban and his family are not real happy about this. Let's just look at verses 1 and 2. It says, But Jacob learned that Laban's sons were grumbling about him. Jacob had robbed, Jacob has robbed our father of everything, they said. He has gained all his wealth at our father's expense. And Jacob began to notice a change in Laban's attitude towards him. Now, this simply really isn't true. Laban had not been robbed but rather Jacob's wealth was increasing in proportion to Laban. And Laban's flocks were not as good anymore because Jacob was uh, being blessed by God in the, the breeding of the flocks. So Jacob is growing, but the problem wasn't that Jacob stole. It was that Laban's sons were filled with envy and Laban was too. They saw somebody being blessed, and they were mad because they weren't the ones being blessed. That's common. You know, we have envy. We envy the person with the better relationship. We envy the person that the world finds attractive. We envy the, the person with money. We envy the person with the nicer car, the nicer house, all of these things. And that doesn't say anything about the person we're envying, it says something about us. That we don't trust God to give us what we need and that we're measuring ourselves against everyone else. It's not how we should live. We measure ourselves against us. Understand God has a plan for your life and a place he has you to be and that's where you're at. And if somebody else seems to have more than you in this moment, that's okay. Good for them. As long as it was gained honestly. Now, you know, we start having people, you know, doing dishonest things, then, you know, that needs to be taken care of, not necessarily by us, but by authorities. We don't want people being criminals and, you know, succeeding and hurting others. But as Americans especially, we can't measure ourselves against everyone else. Be satisfied with where you're at. Work hard. Do the right things. And God in His time will bless you. You guys be good. Be blessed. See you soon.